Hi again guys, I'm back for another video. In our last video we managed to make it to the 8th floor of Dreadfell and we were about to go into the last floor and do battle with the Master. So let's get back to it. Now I'm, I'm pretty close to 100% confident we're actually going to be able to do it this time without having a ton of deaths and that's because I've learned from my mistakes last time. I swear to god I have. Uh, plus our damage output's quite a lot higher, and um, the Master will fold pretty easily to high damage output characters. Uh, I'm noticing it's quite slow on this floor, which leads me to believe there's either a lot of enemies here just floating around, or there's probably a really big vault somewhere on the map. Wow, they're just not coming out. That's bizarre. Okay, that'll get him out in the hallway real quick. What just cast Ice Block on me? That's never a good sign. Oh, that's what just cast Ice Block on me. <laughs> it looks like we've run into the Master already. Right, looks like we... I think we managed to confuse him. No, he's just... Oh, yeah, we did! Sweet! Alright, so he's confused, and he teleported away. Give us an opportunity to kill most of these guys here. At least until the master gets brave enough to come seek us out. Well, so far this corridor isn't too bad. We've got a ton of health. You know, 1200 health and um, as much damage as we're doing, things are just kind of melting here. Oh, looks like we found the master again. And we are just going to teleport away from that guy. And we will let him come to us. No need to fight him with minions. Ouch. Orc Necromancer just hit me for a lot of damage. There we go. Now oh, what do we have here? I don't know where that necromancer or that alchemist minion came from. Master is very, very nearly dead. Or at least on his first life. And we just leveled up. And as somebody pointed out in my YouTube channel, I did miss a level there. Uh, I think on the last video. So let's see. So we're going to put these points, I think, into Blood Rage. Well, let me think about that first. Going a lot of, you know what? I'm going to level Blinding Speed. A nice global speed boost would be nice and probably be better than this Strength Boost. The Strength Boost is nice for the damage increase, but it's not going to make or break us or anything here. And I'm going to take these other two points, going to put them to Armor Training. Those are going to come in real handy very shortly here in uh, the fight after the Master when we do the Ambush. I am not dealing with an Armored Skeleton Warrior, there's no way. I don't see why I should have to anyway. Where? Oh, there he is. 
He's a rascally little fellow. Let's see how long that stun's got left on it. Oh, stun's off. And he's confused again. Yeah, is he still confused? I'm trying to figure out... Yeah, he's still confused and he's stunned. This is over. Yeah, that was cake this time around. We didn't take any dumb risks, which certainly helped. But uh, our main our main benefit there was really that um, we were just better geared. We were more prepared to fight the master that time than we were in the past. So let's see what he dropped. He dropped four artifacts that time. We got Choker of Dread, which gives us physical power and blindness and immunity. I'm gonna. Uh, it's not even it's not even a tier four. That that's just fart. Hold that stray light ring too. Or amulet. What else do we got? Staff of Absorption, the quest item that we're only gonna have for about five minutes. And Hat of Arcane Understanding, which I'm not gonna use. So we didn't really get anything great. Oh boy. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna drop I'm not I'm not holding on to that. That's that's useless. All right. Now we're just going to clear this floor. Oh, wow. I would rather not fight that. Oh, God. He's following me through the entire level. That's not good. Now, oh, hopefully, I could just not get hit for 20 rounds. That would be rad. Take a look at that real quick just to make sure it's not any better than what we got. And we will get rid of everything else. Yeah, the orc ambush. Now we'll see exactly how well this physical damage character will have played out. I'm thinking we are going to do just amazingly on this, but I could be wrong. I have been in the past. So let's start. And how many of these can we get with one blast? Yeah, that's good. I don't like the archers on this fight ever. Oh, wow. Not doing as well as I thought I would. Yep, yes I can't do it <laughs> on this character. Wow, I got my ass handed to me. I kind of fucked around a little bit too much there, so that's my fault. But, since we didn't kill the lead guy for the ambush, it didn't really matter. Uh, as we did manage to grind him into a fine pace before he could hit us. Now we're level 33, and... I'm gonna do the... I'm gonna do the monastery, because why not? Or not the monastery, the, the graveyard. If we have too much trouble with it, I will just just bail on the place immediately. But hopefully we won't. Hopefully we can just to get here through here and not have any problems at all. stunned this long. That was b 
bizarre. Oh, steel helmet gar cool. That's a nice thing to find. It was on that chest armor we found earlier. A lot of armor. Not a whole lot of anything else. Hell of a lot of armor, though. Okay. Yeah, Steel Helm of Garkul is definitely better than this crappy Voratune Helm we have. It's just that good. Maybe we'll get lucky and find his necklace later on. That would be a wonderful, wonderful discovery. This is just one annoying enemy. He can't really hit me for anything, but... Boy, is he effective at being annoying. I don't feel like doing that fight. So, I'm just going to skip the Graveheart this time around. I actually might come back later on and uh, try it when I've sufficiently out-leveled that guy enough at the door to, like, one or two shot him, but I'll worry about that later. Now, what can I do in three minutes? Not a whole lot, so... I think I will check on my alchemy quests. Oh, I'm done with both. I forgot to turn those in. So, let's do that now. Where was the hermit at? Where was he at? I can't remember. That's what I get for taking a couple days off. I think he was... oh... what? Why are they wearing purple armor? Reinforced. I don't know what that look looks like. I don't think I've ever seen that on a character before. To remember that that's there. Forgot that I had the Lost Land of Poosh unlocked, and I'll get to show you guys what that uh, event is all about in my next video. God, where the hell did I leave that hermit? I can't, I cannot remember. This is gonna drive me crazy. God, these guys are annoying. Pass. Ah, where? In God's name, did I leave this guy? I'm about to give up.
Yeah, I don't. I can't find him. Guess that just clinches it. There is no, uh. I don't think he's gotta be here. I don't think he's, he can die or anything. <sighs> Damn it. I'm like finding every Ziggurat patrol, but I'm not finding the quest I need to turn in. You know, as a non-anti-magic character, those Ziggurat patrols are actually pretty lucrative. You're also more likely to find a Solipsis there, though, so I don't know if I want to make it a habit of fighting them. There's another one. Speak of the Devil. I just don't have time for that. Well, I am at a complete loss, so... For now, I will just go turn in the last hope one and then worry about finding the hermit in my next video. Boy, howdy. Oh! Damn. I guess we won't have to find the hermit at all now. Because he just completed his. Oh, that's just... do his other alchemy quests if we can. That would be wonderfully convenient. Oh, no. Oh, well. Alright, well, I am... What? Shouldn't I have... Oh, okay. So that's my generic points, which I really didn't need to boost too. Oh, well. Thanks for watching my video. Tune in next week, or not next week, next next time. And uh, we will continue on with our character's adventure. We're going to do Reknor. And we are, well, we're done with the Hermit. So I think all we have to do now is Reknor. Thanks.